Hey there, everybody. It is Thomas Wood with MicroQuant. It's Friday, May 2nd. Uh, we had FOMC today. I want to take a minute to talk about gold and more specifically gold trend lines. Uh, gold market, if you follow a 240 minute chart, a lot of times you'll be able to draw some really well defined trend lines. And gold does a very good job of respecting those trend lines, meaning when it breaks it, it runs in one direction or the other, or it'll find resistance and bounce off of it. Uh, one of the two. Now in the trading room today we had a nice long in gold after FOMC a couple hours after it where gold came up and broke this downtrend line here so this is just a really good example of what I mean when I say gold makes trend lines and then breaks trend lines and then keeps on going. Um, gold came, We had a trend line dating all the way back to April 14th uh, connecting across we've been hit four times and today was the fifth time and everybody had asked me in the trading room whether or not they would go short against the trend line. And I said no, because the trend line had been tested so many times, the probability of it being broken was even higher. And then we said it was a long as soon as it got above 93.20. Uh, well, gold, you can see, broke 12.93.20. And right now it's at 1,300. Uh, it was all the way up at the high today so far at 1,304.90. Uh, so you're up over $1,000 a contract in a relatively short amount of time, just a, about an hour or so after it broke that trend line. So this is something, just to recap, make sure you pay attention to these trend lines in gold on your 240 minute chart. Watch the really obvious ones because when they get broken, this market likes to run. I hope everyone has a great weekend. That's all I have for today. And until next time, happy trading.